Capillary action. Due to its surface tension and other factors, water has the ability to flow automatically through thin tubes and small crevices in porous material, even against the force of gravity. If a tube is small enough, water will climb up through it. This is called capillary action. If the tube or space is too large, the water won't flow up through it. This is how trees get their water from the ground, because wood is porous. Down in the roots, there are really small crevices and gaps that allow the water to flow upwards, eventually getting the water to all areas of the tree, right up to the top. In housing foundations, the concrete material used as the base of a house is also porous. This potentially creates a problem as it sits on moist ground. If measures aren't taken, groundwater will seep up from the ground into the concrete. But liquid water isn't the only problem. Water vapor also rises and will seep into the concrete. If a foundation gets wet, it can eventually cause damage, such as mold, mildew, and cracking. To combat this, standard construction practices use a layer of gravel between the soil and concrete where gaps in the gravel are wide enough that capillary action doesn't work. However, this method only prevents against liquid water, not water vapor. To prevent this, another standard practice is to use a thin plastic sheet called a vapor barrier to protect against water vapor. The combination of these two techniques proves the most effective at preventing any form of moisture from affecting the concrete keeping it nice and dry.